Hello everybody, we have a couple cold waves moving down across the eastern half of the country. We'll have rain across Texas, and then over the next couple days, those higher elevations in New Mexico should see some snow up in the mountainous areas. We'll have a couple waves of cold come across the Great Lakes that'll fire off the lake effect machine. Mixed precipitation overall, we could see some changeover areas to plain snow as we go towards the Wednesday and Thursday period, especially during the nighttime hours. But uh, tis the season, it's that time of year where we do see some of those lake effect bands. Now we're not gonna see too much accumulated snowfall as we go throughout the next several days, anywhere from a quarter inch upwards to an inch, two, three inch spots falling from the sky, which you're actually gonna see accumulate on grass, maybe half of that and then even less actually on any kind of pavement and concrete. It will not last. We're not gonna sustain temperatures below freezing for too long. But continuing across the pattern, you'll notice another system moving out of Texas. That's a good amount of rain for the south. That's gonna spread eastward. We'll watch for another system to come down here. They'll kind of combine and that's gonna bring a pretty good slug of moisture up the southeastern seaboard and the east coast. And cold air wrapping around, pushing in across the Great Lakes and the Midwest as well. Look at that, that could be some decent sustained lake effect snow for a few hours in spots that this model's indicating, not too many models really showing that, but something to monitor as another big cold wave comes in for the weekend and then really quiet for much of the country early portions of next week, but just not looking at any big snowfall across the east anytime soon in the near future. We're gonna see the warmth kind of segregate itself out towards the west here and build a little bit. That'll be where it's really only contained. Middle of the country, eastward, you're all gonna be pretty chilly with the green colors, the blue colors, and even some purples in there. That's decently below average temperatures. You can kind of see Rockies backing towards the northwest. This could be almost a summer pattern that we're gonna see at times, or I should say a winter pattern where we get into that colder weather back towards the east. But we will have a couple warm waves still to come, maybe towards the end of the month. But overall, that cold weather comes rearing its ugly head again as we go towards November. That's well below average temperatures. So something to keep an eye on as we head towards the next few weeks. That means you need to be prepared for this cold weather and snow. It's a lot better information coming from NeoWeather than what you're going to get from weather apps, from the local TV weatherman as well. So make sure to check us out. Contact us today.